boy, hello? <laughs> Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. A splendid time. I laugh just thinking about it. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. Like that cat who made fun of me for eating plain rice, or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Now, they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great. And I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. Remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. My time is worth at least 100,000 yen per hour, you know. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Aw, oh, are you feeling lonely? Hey, are you teasing me? Nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kinda wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. It's amazing! Come 
I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. You really think so? Then maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness. But maybe... You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality. And I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide, and I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. my request. I got my hands on some pretty interesting wares. Feel free to look around. Everything good. Come again. Why, sir? 
certainly. everything you need come again yeah is starting. today. See if anything catches your eye. Everything looks good here? Alright then. Take your time. Stuff you might find you. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon.
made it. What do you got? How many are you selling? Sure now. All right, I'll take that. Uh, prices are a bit lower today. Take a look if you have the chance. You gotta tell no Got some everything look good here? All right then. Everything look good here? Great, it's all yours. That what you want? Great, it's all yours. Everything look good? Great, it's all yours. Hmm? You come back soon. Sure now. Sure. How many? Sure. All right. No. How many? You're handing. Sure. It's a deal. How many are you? You're handing. All right. I'll take that. Uh-huh. I got some stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Uh, running a little sale today. See if anything catches your eye. my duty after all what do you got how many sure now sure it's a deal you gotta tell no I'm at your handing that. All right, I'll take that.
You were actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. Not that it'd matter anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there. A kid, too. Sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Stay back. I'll create an opening so you can escape. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. Come on. Make your move. Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended, and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison, and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor, or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel, I can't back down now. I'll carry that responsibility and pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, what the hell are you going on about? Oh. <laughs> All right, then. I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Cocky little bastards! Looks like that does it. That was quite the challenge considering their numbers. Are you alright? Don't ever show your face around here again. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. Got it! Come on, it's getting cold. Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. Well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. There are hand wraps, mainly for protecting my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, 
but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today, it's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger too. Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on. But I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me. Do you think I'm strong enough now? <laughs> I'd like to think so, but I did lose my way. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, from grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. <laughs> it's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But try not to blame Junpei and the others. <laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who is there too, I just wanted you to know, no matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I've faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future is going to turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end... It's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal, but this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Oh, sure. I did it, Miki. It's a huge honor. I'll fight to protect it like a champ guarding his title. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. 
I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now, either. Ah, oh, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm. Damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with 8 kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine, but you gotta do some resistance training with free weights, too. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Well then. Mm-hmm. 